Hello everyone. Thank you for attending DevCon 2020. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody, virtually at least, and sharing some knowledge with you, learning from you, and all of the fun stuff that goes along with DevCon each year. I just want to take a quick second, since today is the first day of DevCon, to record a quick video to show you how to DevCon, uh, how to sign up for sessions and how to attend them. So. As uh, you may have seen here on the institution page, we have a don't forget to build your schedule. So if I click this, this will bring up our session list. And in the session list, we get a number of things. Um, you can see all of these sessions. Each of these sessions corresponds to a course in Blackboard Learn. You can see the description of these sessions. You can see the session schedule. Um, please note all of these times that you see here are in uh, GMT. So if you're a plus three, then you would add three. If you were a minus five, you would subtract five, etc., etc. And you can see the target audience uh, region. Um, along with that, you can see workshop admin developer. These are all of the tags that we have associated with a given session. So you can get a, a sense for what type of session it is. You can see the uh, target audiences, and then you can see the level of um, level of difficulty that we have placed along with this session. So you can scroll through, you can see all of the various sessions that we have here, and you can see the unenroll button here. Now, because I am doing this video as administrator, I am enrolled in all of these sessions. For you, the first time you come in here, all of these will, will say enroll. And you can simply click these and toggle back and forth. And in the background, using jQuery, this is essentially calling the API and enrolling you and unenrolling you real time to the courses that correspond to the particular session. So once you've gone through and you've selected all the sessions that you want to attend, and bear in mind that even if you can't attend them live, if you select the session and enroll in it, we will be recording every session and making it available inside of that course as well, as long as the session presenter is willing to share the the presentation via recording so make sure even if you can't attend based on the session schedule here that you enroll in any of these courses that you want to be able to see the corresponding uh, recording for so I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and so now you've selected all your sessions when you come to the sessions space you can see all of the courses that correspond to each of these sessions and so now it is time uh, to attend your session. Um, so one thing that I'll point out really quickly, under schedule, you can see each of the sessions. Anything that is in a gray box here, like this one, uh, is the institution schedule. So everybody sees all of these so that you can get an idea for the schedule, see the, the session topics, etc. Uh, and any of the ones with the other colors are actually for only courses that you're enrolled in. These are the course calendar. And so, um, just so that you can sort of keep track of when these things are. And of course it's a calendar so um, you can go through and, and uh, edit your view here so that you can only see the ones that you're interested in if you, were, if you so choose. So as I was mentioning back here in sessions it's time to attend the Welcome to DevCon session. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and when I click the drop down, you'll see we have session room. Now, every room, every course has a session room. This is to be used for ad hoc, um, ad hoc meetings. You know, anybody that wants to join and collaborate and talk can join the session room at any time. When it is time for the session, there will be a room that pops up. And you see here, this is America's. Um, so when I click on this, I will actually be joining the session. This is done through LTI, so it will know that you are an attendee, or if you're a presenter, it will give you the moderator privileges. And of course, somebody from Blackboard will be in the room for every session in case you have questions or you're unfamiliar with Blackboard Collaborate. It is important to note that you click either, it will say either Europe-Africa for the eight, uh, for the sessions geared towards that group 
it will say Americas for the sessions geared towards that group, and it will say APEC for the sessions geared toward that group. And when I say geared towards that group, I don't mean directed specifically at them. I meant scheduled in a time zone that is friendly for that region. So if I click Americas, I am taken to Blackboard Collaborate and go through my tests, and now I'm in the session. And by joining this session, not only do I get the chance to attend the session and learn from my peers and share with my peers, but I also get, assuming that I stay for at least 75% of that, I automatically get a Badger badge. And so you can see um, by going to the public page for the Blackboard Badger badge, you can see all of the badges that are available. Uh, we have ally badges, we have daily leaderboard badges, we have level badges for each of the levels as you gain more and more uh, points in the leaderboard system, and then we have badges for each of the individual sessions, and the ones that I skipped up here are the pathway badges, and you'll see that on the My Institution page that you can link to these and see exactly what you have to do in order to be able to earn these badges. So that is the brief tour. Uh, we will go through this again in person so that you can ask questions during the gamification session, which is today in all three regions. So I look forward to talking to you there. Look forward to talking to you over the next 11 days, um, not including weekends and happy coding.